So, hi there. Driven by Moss 11.7 is out and it brings some nice additions to the Launchpad series. So, these changes are available for all the models I support of the Launchpad. And let's start with a really nice and simple one. Let's start playback. And you can now use session in a temporary way. So, if you want to switch to another scene, you press session and hold it, start another scene and release it and you're back to where you have been before. So pretty helpful, let's get back to this drum only scene. So drum, here we have the drum sequencer and also the drum sequencer gives you now finally the features you were looking for. You can now silently select pads, mute them, solo them and also open the browser for them. So how does it work? In that area you select the loop length and I sacrifice the last four pads to control other things because I think this is brings you more benefit for live performance instead of having such long loops. So what you can do is now here if you keep that one pressed so you can now select one of the paths without playing them. So if you just want to select it to change something here in the, the sequence then it does not sound as it would do instead if you select it without pressing that button. The other thing is you can mute different sounds so let's do playback and you want to mute the hi-hat and the snare. So you only have the, the bass drum playing and you can unmute them back again and we're back into the game. Same is for solo, so you can solo the hi-hat, for example. And the last one is for browsing. So for example, if you would like to exchange the snare here, you keep that pressed, press the snare button and you are now in a browser for preview. So you can preview the sound and you can go to the next one. Um, no, let's go here to the uh, samples and we want to have favorites here. Let's go to what are we changing the snare sound so here we have the snare sound yeah let's go with that one and we have loaded that one and you have a different snare sound. Uh, something to note about this, if you use the browser uh, it somehow loses the focus from the drum machine. The drum machine is I could not fix that. So you need to click once you're back in a drum machine to be back again because it somehow gets uh, navigates into the channel. And yeah, that's how it is. But besides that, I think that's pretty helpful and enjoy it and make some funky music. <laughs> 